As they approach the lab, they are met by Dr. Mickey by himself. He rages against them, determined to protect his work at any cost. Nan steps forward and replies to Dr. Mickey Bisalvas with a grin. Whoa, doctor, let's take a chill pill here. No need to go all mad scientist on us. Mad scientist? I am not mad. I am just a concerned father. Nan tilts her head and grins mischievously. Well, Doc, you should know that I'm not just any concerned citizen. I'm a Jedi, and so is my friend here. She says, gesturing towards Dr. Makibe. Dr. Makibe's eyes widen in surprise. What? You are a Jedi too? Yep, we're a rare breed, but we're still out there. And we're here to make sure justice is served. And now, I should reveal my secret. And he starts to change. Well, Doc, you sure had us all fooled with those spooky broadcasts. We thought we were in the middle of a sci-fi horror movie. I assure you, Mr. Wood, my experiments were based on legitimate scientific research. I was just misguided in my methods. Right, because nothing screams legitimate scientific research like broadcasting ominous threats over a town's loudspeakers. She retorts sarcastically. Wood laughs and claps Dr. McGee on the back. Don't worry, Doctor. We forgive you. We just hope you don't plan on going all Frankenstein on us again. No, Mr. Wood. I have learned my lesson. I promise not to play God again. As the smoke clears and the debris is cleared away from the destroyed lab, the townspeople of Ildok breathe a collective sigh of relief. Dr. McGee and Nana are hailed as heroes for their bravery and determination in stopping the dangerous experiments, and their bond as Jedi. They're strengthened by the experience. Together, they vow to continue to protect their community and uphold justice, knowing that there may be more secrets hidden in the shadows, waiting to be revealed.